this this could be a game changer because everybody else in your tryout is going to go out there and jack shots, take bad shots. They're going to go out there and try to shoot everything. Yeah. And you know what they're not going to do? Box out every time a shot goes up. Relentlessly pursue a rebound. Like, make a shot and point at the passer and say, great pass. Like, all those little things. Y'all have to understand, like, everybody here on this call, please listen to this. Your coaches, high school coaches, college coaches, A, doesn't matter. Coaches are corny. They're some of the corniest people on the planet. They love the, the, the one-liners, the quotes. They sit there and they just read quotes. They eat quotes for breakfast. They love all the things that everybody talks about, the cliches. They, are, they love that stuff. They want the kid to go out there and dive on the floor for the loose ball. They will talk about that in the, in the, the, um, in the room after practice. Like They'll go to their office and be like, man, that one kid, their shot looked like it was a little broke. They, they might not have hit a lot of shots, but they dove three times on the floor for that loose ball. I love that kid. Like You stand out because while everybody else is trying to do this thing, there are so many other things in basketball that you could do to stand out, and nobody's trying to do them. So you should actually see that as an opportunity. Where everybody else is over here, focus at the plethora of things over here, and that's where your ticket is because you're going to stand out so high since everybody else's focus there is going to be so low. Yeah. Hey, this is inspiring me to go uh, off script a little bit here. We might even go into some of our, our upcoming slides, but it's fine. All right. It's, uh, it's straight value. So uh, let's do this. We can't say we can't say defense because we are going to talk more specifically about how to do that in the next upcoming slide. Spoiler alert. But let's let's brainstorm a quick list of all the things that they can do at tryouts. I'm going to type here as we go through it into the chat box. In fact, let's actually do this. Let's go to the chat box, everybody, before we even come up with our list. Everybody go to the chat box. Um, you can say defense, it's fine. Uh, everything that you think a coach might value at tryouts that has nothing to do with scoring. We're going 30 seconds. Go to the chat box, write it down. Oh man, they're coming in. I'm gonna even start reading some of these. Uh, Penny said hustle. Kylie, great name. That's what they used to call me when I was in preschool. Hustling, Jackson, talking on defense. Uh, Gianni, talking. Ray, hustle all the time. Communication, we're seeing hustles all over the place. Being vocal, Kristen, really nice. Magnolia said attitude, energy, defense, communication, showing up on time. IQ, passing, rebounding defensive hustle, court vision, intangibles, rebounding, communication. I'm just, I'm riffing. It's like, and Matt and Rudy, is, it, it's interesting because some of the stuff we're sharing, I'd say most players inherently know, or parents, players inherently know, um, but it's, and maybe we just talk about this for a moment. Why is it so distracting? I mean, maybe it's just a belief system that's been ingrained in our brains that we think coaches only care about scoring. When reality, if we're talking about it right here. They don't only care about scoring. Obviously, if you're going to be a 20, 25 point scorer, you're probably making the team, right? There's no question about it. There's more roles than that. Um, so, so Matt, back over to you for a moment um, on this topic. Let me just go into the head of a coach. How, how, let's get really real, Matt. How much do you really care about all the stuff that people are putting in the chat box? Oh, it, that's a great question. I cannot wait to answer because I think some people might be surprised by my answer. But first, we're gonna have a little. Uh, we're gonna keep everybody in suspense on that. Kyle, we give us a reminder about um, where where we should be dropping our comments to because I see a lot of great comments in the chat box that are mm. only showing up for the host. Yeah, and panelists. yeah. Reminder, sure everybody gets a benefit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thanks for that, Matt. You can go uh, when you're at the chat box. It says two, and there's a. I think on everybody's screen listening and watching at home. Uh, it says two panelists or two panelists and attendees. You can actually select a drop down and uh, click panelists and attendees so everybody sees your comments. Um, and then also in addition, if you do have questions, please go to the Q and A um, instead of in the chat box, because you're gonna see here there's a lot of people typing, things are gonna get buried. We'll answer questions at the end. So panelists and attendees is who you want to be typing to. Matt, back to you. Love it. Well, first of all, I'm gonna celebrate my guy Bryce on here, dropping in the Magic Johnson effect. Uh, man, must be a playmaker college or point guard college grad. I love that. Yes, coaches love the Magic Johnson effect. Kyle, to get back to your question, I'm going to say this. As I'm scrolling through the chat box, um, a lot of really solid answers in here and also a lot of things, like you said, that we hear all the time, right? Communicate, hustle, rebound. The more general your answer, the less a coach cares. Like, what is hustle? 
Yeah. Like that's a very broad term. Um, what is communication? That's a very broad term. Um, but we got a couple like Steve dropped in here. Um, body language. Okay, great. Um, yeah. And then go deeper. Like, what is that to you? And that's no judgment on the answers, right? But that's just like into the head of a coach. Um, what is the specific thing? Like, can at the end of a tryout, um, right? Like, just like Rudy mentioned, when I'm back in my office, my assistant coaches, can I specifically say one thing that you did better than anybody else in the gym? Like uh, Todd Martinez, you dropped in here, uh, taking charges. Yeah. The part of your list. Like that's a specific thing that you can stand out for. Now, again, does your coach value it? Well, you're going to know because you're going to have that conversation in his or her office. Um, but the more specific you can. So if I'm going to begin to make a list of things that stand out, um, when, I, when, when I think about communication is specific communication. And again, any communication is better than none. Um, but I believe that you can begin to level up by even simply communicating um, geographically where you are on the floor. You know, I've got your help in the corner, right? I've got the paint, helps in the paint if you're on defense or if a teammate's attacking and you're off the ball. Um, I'm sliding to the right wing. I'm sliding to the right wing. So like specific communication is going to get you a lot farther than ball, 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 help, 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 deny, 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 because most players don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, Rudy, I have a thought to add to Matt before I do. What's on? You go ahead. Okay. Um, you know, I, I think if, if I was going to, and we're actually going to go on into one of those very specific specific things you can do uh, in our next slide here in a moment. Um, but one thing I want to hit on that you brought up, Matt, about points, you talked about Rudy, is when a player goes into a tryout and thinks that they only have to score, they end up putting a lot of pressure on themselves, right? And they end up pressing a bit and probably doing more than they have to do. And so I think one thing to know is you don't, number one, have to do something every single time down the court. If you don't score in that position, it's fine, right? There's more flow to the game. And so I think what we're trying to get at here is to understand one, points are not the only thing that matters. Then two, doing some of these little things um, are actually really these big things and you can alleviate pressure from yourself. And, and then, it, cause it, it starts mounting, right? You don't score down this trip. Then the next time something happens and you don't get a chance to score again, you don't get a chance to score again. All of a sudden you're six possessions in and you think that on the seventh possession, you have to score, and then you shoot a fadeaway out of bounds. And that actually only makes you look worse to a coach because they're like, oh, they don't get it. Rudy, you're nodding your head. Thoughts? Yeah, that was going to be one piece just with the shooting thing that I've seen players do. And so uh, the, the AAU program that I helped run here, we have 19 teams. We had 196 athletes play for us this spring. So it's a lot of kids. I saw a lot of tryouts. Don't... You, as a player, one thing that you want to do when you go into a tryout is hide your weaknesses. You don't want to showcase the things that you can't do well. So going out there and trying to force shots, you do that and eventually you're going to end up taking shots that you're not good at. That's not going to get you exposure to your coach. That's going to get you exposed. Like your training time is where you work on your non-dominant hand. You work on the floater if you don't have it or your jump shot if you're not that good at it yet. But when it comes to game time competing, like coach, I'm trying to show you what value I add to your program. That is not the time to go off the reservation and start trying things out. That is where you stick to the script. You do what you're really, really good at. And you say, hey, coach, I might have some other deficiencies. We'll work on that. But here's what I'm really good at. I can do these three or four things really, really well. And that's how you create an identity as a player. Players that don't have identities at the end of a tryout don't make teams. Yeah. yeah. But if you're the best at this one, two, three things, that's going to stick out to a coach when they're thinking about who they have that can rebound, who they have that can set screens, who they have that can run the floor and get those easy buckets in transition. If you're the number one of 50 in any of those things, even if you're number 23, 24 and something else, it doesn't matter. You're at the front of the list in something that they're looking for. And yeah. so, you know, we talk about PGC, aim small, miss small, figure out what you're really good at, find your strengths and try to showcase those. Don't go out there and just try to jack up shots because you think you have to score. That actually makes you look worse in the long run. So hide your weaknesses, showcase your strengths. 